Hey everyone, it's your favorite pastry, and today I'm going to start a challenge run that I've been wanting you to do for the past two years, a YOLO run in Fallout 4. What is a YOLO run? Why, I'm glad you asked. It's a survival difficulty, permadeath, no healing run. And if that sounds like pain and suffering, you're right. Here are the specific rules. No healing hit points, radiation, or broken limbs. This one is obvious. I have downloaded a mod specifically to help with this, as it removes the healing properties of food, stim packs, right away, water, and many other sources. I can still heal, kinda. Every time I level up, the game adds more hit points based on my permanent endurance value, but followed is nice, as if I level up my endurance at a later date, the game will recalculate my health, as if I had started that with that endurance from the start. The game is set to survival difficulty. This is the hardest difficulty setting in this game, and adds a bunch of extra considerations. First of all, no fast travel. I have to walk everywhere, with three exceptions, which I will talk about when they show up. In my previous playthroughs, I walked to Mordor and back, then to the Lonely Mountain and back. There's a lot of walking, and I will be editing it out if nothing of interest happens. Secondly, I have to worry about thirst, hunger, illness, and sleep, adding another layer to this challenge. Though the mod removes infection, as it's a random die roll and runner. The mod author and challenge run author thought that was unfair. Thirdly, I am incredibly squishy, and the same is true in the game, but so is everyone else. An ultimate high stakes difficulty. No guaranteed legendaries. This rule is in place to prevent players from going to various merchants and buying powerful legendaries. I am modifying the rule, but keeping its spirit. No easy to grab legendaries. These are the legendaries that merchants just lying around, or as its namesake, easy to acquire. I'll point out which ones are easy to acquire and hard to acquire, as I may use a few guaranteed legendary items that are from boss skills, for example. No permanent companions. It's very easy to put Nick or Kate into a set of power armor, give them a minigun, and have them run into the world clearing it out for you. That being said, they are dumb and will often get in the way, so this might be a boon. Temporary companions requests are allowed as they are temporary and you often can't complete the quest without them, though I may make an exception through some rule lowering. No XP grinding, as it's very easy to reach level 20 without ever leaving Sanctuary, though I will be leveling up quickly because let's just say there are more quests than usual. Physics based death, as Bethesda games are Bethesda games, I could look at a uh, car around and it will kill me. So when that happens, I am allowed to continue from the most recent save point. Any non-fatal damage I take will be permanent, however. And rule 7, oh Gwen, I am going to die. That's not really a rule, uh, it's more of a fact. With all of that out of the way, let's get this pain train on the way. Right you are, announcer me. This is a run I've been wanting to do for the past two years. And I have just the perfect character in mind. Step aside, Nate. Right, I have to press Y. It's Nora's time to shine. But let's improve our looks. There we go. That's my character. I may have a thing for redheads. Let's get this party started. I just started and there's already a radio signal. Hundred and seventy three point five Fahrenheit for a coffee is warm. Typical serving standards is between one twenty and one forty five Fahrenheit. At I think one fifty Fahrenheit, you develop third degree burns in about five ish seconds, and at one eighty Fahrenheit it's like a second. So that is way too warm. Never gonna find that dog. Hmm. That's not aggressive foreshadowing at all. Grognak the Barbarian and the General of the I know we were nervous at first, but <laughs> I'm glad we got Codsworth. I'm not so sure about that, Nate. He's trying to scold our tones. Well, on the island of Mamba 
Now we just need to wait for the apocalypse to happen. The most boring part. Hmm. More of the same. <sighs> there we go. Finally. Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps walking. Good morning. vault calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take... Totally not busy. Time. I'm totally just waiting for the apocalypse need, to happen. Um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of... <clears throat> Total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just well, we know from the TV show that Voltec was secretly rooting for the nuclear no, annihilation. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Now, I spent a lot of time thinking about this, and I have the perfect name. And wouldn't you know it, I don't have enough characters for it. Her full name is Isabella Marlene Gonzalez Dietrich. Named after her, I think, great-great-grandmother, Marlene Dietrich, who was a famous singer from Germany. And her other great-great-grandmother, Isabella Gonzalez, who helped bring Peru into America. Or something like that. I'm a little fuzzy, fuzzy on my American history, as I am not American. As you can kind of guess, there's a secret reason for it. We'll get to that later. And as for my build I'm going for, 3 in strength, so I can get armor right away. Armor is going to be pretty important for this run. Again, you'll see later on. Perception of 4, you get the bobblehead right away which boosts it to 5. And then with, at the 5th level we get a Demolition Expert, which increases my explosives damage. Because as you know, I'm a member of the Firebomb Academy and giving myself more explosive damage is always the right choice. Endurance of 5 is a little lower than I'd like. Usually I go for 7. But I needed to sacrifice 2 points for uh, other points elsewhere. But at 5 I get access to Aqua Girl, which allows me to go swimming without taking ride damage. Terribly important for this run. As well as Kim Resistant. I'm going to be relying very heavily on drugs for this run. Charisma of 6 for Local Leader and Lone Wanderer. Local Leader will allow me to set up supply lines between my settlements, which in survival mode is going to be pretty important. I did a few test playthroughs where I didn't have Local Leader and running back and forth between settlements to grab some various supplies for settlement building and weapon and armor modification was a huge hassle. Intelligence at 4 for Gunnut and Hacker. Hacker is going to be crucial for one of the DLCs, particularly Automatron. Agility 5 for Gunslinger Sneak and Aqua, uh, Aqua Girl, Action Girl. So I can refresh my action points a little bit quicker. And Luck in 1, because in real life, I have no luck. And this is accurate. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. 
That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. You may have seen a little pop-up in the top left. That's part of the mod, YOLO mod. Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. I'm picking the sarcastic option because it's the best option in the game. Oh, right. The park. With you. Because I want to get pregnant again. Sir? Mom? You should Heavily implying that they're a bit no, of exhibitionist. Or whatever that kink is. Now, will I get the right way? I did not get the right way. I always forget which way to turn. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. So oh, by Gwen, it's finally happening. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost what contact did he say? with our affiliate stations. Oh no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We need to get to the vault. Now! Oh, time to run. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Goodbye, Bob. Or Nate, Nathan, Nathaniel, whatever your name was. List. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. You two, follow Thank me. God Come on. Sir. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Ah, lovely fall colors of the Step trees. On the platform in the center. <clears throat> He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! folks we'll get everyone situated in your new home vault 111 a better future underground so we just yes up the stairs hey I can't believe head inside if we just up the stairs later. there no no okay. don't. don't get caught up thinking about that you're just safe now please. Please. this one's good step up excuse me this way just step over to the table. Thanks. This way, please. Oh yeah, get my snazzy vault suit now. He'll show you where to go. Just this All right, you three. Follow me. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh God, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time, but Vault Tech will be with you every step. Good fit, don't you think? Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. This is very obviously a frosty environment. 
Oh, I beat the doctor. Hey there. Follow me. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who is my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. I think there's something wrong with Sean. He looks a little plastic. Mommy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Alright. Time for the apocalypse. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Can you believe it that a balanced breakfast killed Nate? I sure can't. C7, that's my pod. I finally have control. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. I'll Taking the ring because I'm pragmatic I and that is worth and quite a bit. Will I sell it? Probably not. Alright, first rule of leave in the fall on survive mode. Grab literally everything. Because it is crafting supplies, and I need all the crafting supplies I can get my hands on. Big cockroaches. Oh, uh, that's ceramic. Okay, stim packs. Now, if the mod is working correctly, stim packs shouldn't actually heal me. So, you're probably asking, why am I picking them up? Because they are worth 20 caps at 0.1 weight. Which means 200 caps for one unit of weight, which is amazing on this mode. Security terminal. Vault 111 instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security duty staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring signed staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offensive. Says, security staff are authorized to use lethal force. I'm also going to be trying to do voices. They're going to be, turn out terrible, probably. But I need the practice, as I'm trying to become a DM in Dungeons and Dragons.
I don't feel like reading all that. I'm also incredibly lazy. I am debating on, on whether or not if I should read every single terminal. Ah. Now we have our first enemy up ahead. Now, with YOLO rules, any damage I take is permanent. So if this one rad roach somehow takes half my health, that's it. That half a health is gone for the rest of the game. So obviously you need to be very sneaky, but I found there's a quick and dirty way to be sneaky. With, especially with melee, it's called just going in and whacking them. 60% of the time, it works every time. Giant roaches? What the hell? Again, yeah, loot literally everything. And I'm taking that because it's a fun little game to play in my game. one. Oh, another coffee cup. Now normally you want to not use your water or beer bottles and fill them with purified water and instead fill them with dirty water. But I know a location where I can get like something like 20 beer bottles in the wasteland so I'm just going to use those to fill them with dirty water. Why do I need dirty water? It's a key ingredient in soup as well as a secret other item that we'll come across later on. Gotta make sure they're both spaced away. And I've been playing a lot of Fallout 3 recently, so I am completely messed up on the controls. Uh, that's the one. Oh, that was close. Oh, so close. Oh, but that should be the stressful bit over because now I have a gun. And one of the best guns in the game. Can you believe it? Ah. Ooh. Antibiotics. I hate you, game. I never get antibiotics from that mirror. But of course, I get on this playthrough. When are I can't use it? Ooh, pre war money. That is clock. But more importantly, it is caps later on. Now, interesting trick you can do with vats. You can pre-aim and it automatically automatically aims it at you, them for you. But of course I had to screw up. There we go. Just lock on, aim, and fire. Lock on, aim, and fire. It's gonna be that kind of playthrough, isn't it? Really, three shots on 82% chance. That one luck is really coming through right now. Now there's one more. 
That was close. Now, before you pick up the Pip-Loy, since it actually recreates the entire area behind the scenes, we're just gonna loot everything really quickly like. Excellent, new jumpsuit. Since the one I've been in, I, I've been in this one for 200 years, it's probably old and stale now. Oh yeah, and I've been pick, picking up the Radroach meat because I need the meat. As in survival mode, you need to worry about food and water. That is going to be a constant concern. And unless the mod change, the yellow mod change something, you can literally die for being too hungry. Because hunger influences your endurance, and if it, if, if you have enough of debuff from that plus other debuffs. You can literally die because your health will go to zero. Alright. Excellent. I probably should be a little more careful with the skeletons. Because skeletons can do physics damage. And if I take physics damage from a skeleton, it's permanent. I cannot just simply reset to the last save point. Okay. That electrical blitz is troubling, troubling me. That extended way quicker than I thought it was going to extend. Quick time check. Yeah, I still have time. Yeah, I'm trying to keep these episodes to about half an hour each. And I only have one monitor, so I have to alt tab between the game and my recording software. It's rather annoying. And wouldn't you believe it, after 200 years of computers being on all the time, due to floating air point errors and a bunch of other technical mumbo jumbo. Her name then was corrupted. There we go. I am gonna die. Which is fitting for this playthrough. Now we can see why my character was named Enjoy Isabella Marlene Gonzalez Dietrich. I may have picked her name specifically so I could make that joke. And as always with all the modern Fallout games, they have to flash by you at the very start of the game. And since I'm on the latest patch for Fallout 4, I get a bunch of creation content in it. Oh, there was a new Coca-Cola there all this time. And before I forget... D-hotkey that, because I cannot use it. Now, I think if I go this way, there's some more stuff that I can get. But I also come across mole rats, and I'd rather not come across mole rats at this time. Because they can burrow into the ground, and then jump up at you and surprise you in the most inconvenient places. Ah. Watch out for the skeletons. Jump. Gotta jump over them. Ah, and one of the most important flowers in the game. Hub flower. I think in 76 it's rhododendron or something like that. I forget what it's actually called. It's an ingredient in great mintat, which boosts my charisma. 
Ah, back to Sanctuary Hills. Now, before we talk to Cosverse, there's something very important that I need to get done. Just go over here. Oh, and look at that. There's a Robco Backyard Robotics issue number one. Bingo. Must be new content from the new, uh, new content from the update. Quick tutorial on how to use. I'm gonna put you there. On how to use the workshop. Get rid of you. Get rid of you and you. Don't worry, I'm not going to be scrap or showing you myself scrapping the entire uh, every settlement because that's kind of boring. I'm just doing it now because it's on the way. Put you there. Uh, put you there. And. Give myself a nice bed. Right there should do it. And sleep for one hour. Exactly. There we go. Now that's very important because, wouldn't you believe it, they tutorialized the sleeping mechanic in this game. At 11 a.m. sharp. You become tired, even though you've been sleeping for the past 200 years and it's and time was frozen at 9 a.m. in the vault. You still get tired within two hours. This is because they wanted to make sure that you had a place to sleep so you, that you could have a full night's sleep. Slightly clever game design, but also slightly annoying. But if you sleep for one hour before 11 a.m., it triggers something in the game that goes, you know what, you're smart enough, you figured this out already, we're not gonna tutorialize sleeping. And now I have a full day. Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum. Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. Sean's been kidnapped. And I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? And we what? finally learned that it's been 200 years since the bombs have passed. 210, actually, Mom. Take Officially. The you can look at your pit boy and it gives you the date. It is 2187. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mom, it's been I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed to pass that speech check. Two centuries with no one because you need you normally need nine to charisma serve. to pass a yellow speech I check. spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> 
nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car. How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. Okay, even though in Yellow Rules you're not allowed a permanent companion, Codsworth in this case is a temporary companion specifically for this quest. So it's allowed. And we're just gonna let him take care of most of the bloat flies because Bloat flies are one of the scariest enemies in the game. Particularly on Yolo rules. Flies. Wait, my senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. The reason is, as you can see, they bounce around quite a bit when they fly, and then they shoot projectiles at you, which do poison damage, if I remember rightly. So I did get that one with a nice little sneak attack. I'm just gonna run. Oh, there's me going again, mixing up my controls. Cause in follow three, R1 is your best button. And I've been playing that a lot recently. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't keep up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, Mum. Mm -hmm. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Ah, oh, good. One bobby pin in a dream. There we go. Sweet. Ah, good. Quickly check in here. More right away. Excellent thing to sell. Just gonna break down those concrete cinder blocks. And there's a person here, gonna grab your gun. All right, gonna scrap this house for a very important reason. You'll see in about 30 seconds. Well, I'll see in about 30 seconds. It'll be a little longer for you. I don't know why I exited out of that menu. I still needed it. Gonna go to power. Sure, we'll put one right there, and... And while I'm here, I'm just gonna build a pumping station. There we go. And we already have our first settler. How exciting is that? already well on my way to building this my very first settlement yes in survival mode settlements are crucial because they are guaranteed places for water and rest so the more settlements you can build through the land the better suited you are or the easier time it is hey hello 
there. If I'm not mistaken, you're the guy Wait, I've been isn't that for. the voice of Tom Shalk? Famous voice actor who's in Poppy Playtime, Bio or not Bioshock, System Shock, and My Friendly Neighborhood. What's he doing here? You uh, hear my broadcast? <laughs> You're sharp. Yeah, I heard your broadcast. Sounded as if you were starting. He's not in the base sound. game. Is that about the right of it? You looking for a new place to settle? Not me, no. But I have something that might help you with those that are. Here, catch. A Sam sensor. Why yes. I'm doing a follow for you all run with the Sim Settlements 2 mod installed. And I'm gonna do the full Sim Settlements 2 uh campaign. Because I apparently really wanted to see myself suffer. It's called an ASAM sensor. If you're gonna be building settlements. These things are what you'll want to use. Okay. Care to elaborate? Mm, I think a demonstration is in order. Place that ASAM down on the ground somewhere. Go ahead. Any old spot will do. Go to my SIM settlements. Open up my residential plots. And try and get this right. Something like that. And I'm gonna turn off the broadcast because I don't want too many people. Done. Don't mind the ASAM, it's just scanning the area for materials. I feel violated. Yep, very violated. Now for this next part, I'm gonna pretend to be a settler. Just come to work for you. So just play along, alright? <clears throat> Boy, I sure am glad I found this settlement to live in. But oh no, there are no homes available. And I don't know how to build one myself. I guess I'll just have to rely on whoever runs this place to build a home for me. Don't sell yourself short. You're right. If only I had a little guidance, I could probably build something myself. But wait, what is this? Why, it's an ace, Sam! Just the thing I need! What do you need it for? That is a great question. You see, with an ace, Sam, there's no barrier for entry when it comes to building something. All I'd need to do is follow the step-by-step -step instructions provided by the ace, Sam. Here, let me show you. I love Rick. I could watch it all day. Alright, just one more nail. And... Finished. A man's home is his castle, and no one understands that better than Rocco. Our ASAP sensor technology offers citizens unrivaled freedom of DIY home design. Built using locally sourced materials and designed via our patented dynamic easy build blueprint software. With Rocco brand ASAP sensors, everyone can have a roof over their head. After all, a warm and dry citizen is a productive citizen. And there you have it, a fully built home, ready for habitation by some lucky wastelander. And you barely had to lift a finger. Not too shabby, huh? So now that you've seen what they can do, what do you think? Are ASAM sensors something you might be interested in? Yes, I'm really interested. <laughs> I thought you might be. Unfortunately, right now I only have the one sensor on me. However, I can provide you with more. And once you have more, I can show you even more stuff you could build with them. Homes are just the start. But first, I'm gonna have to ask for a little task done in return. Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. All right, here it is. I got me a workshop in a town called Concord. Nice enough place, fairly quiet. Well, at least it was. But just recently, I returned from a trade run to find the entire town overrun by raiders. 
And now I can't get near my workshop. A small group I could deal with, but there's too many for me to take on alone. So I'm gonna need someone to help take them out. So there it is. That's the job. You help me get rid of these raiders, I'll give you more ASAMs. And show you how to build even more stuff with them. Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. You will? Oh, that's great. Okay, then. Let's head to Concord and show those raiders who's boss. Lead on. Oh, computer was lagging there. And wouldn't you believe it, he needs me to go to Concord as well, which is just so happened where I was going. What a massive coincidence. Well, on that bombshell, thank you for joining me on my first playthrough through Fallout 4. Well, not my first playthrough through Fallout 4. Thank you for joining me on my YOLO run. And me walking out for these extra outros is totally going to get me killed. I can just see it now. If you want to see me continue suffering, be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can stay in the loop. But as always, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together.